Hi guys, my name is Jamie. Welcome to Border Bananas and an old school laundry and chat. I have a feeling I am about to lose a ton of subscribers for this video. To start off with, I used to do these so long ago and I really miss them. So I thought I would do one. I have Ken or Odin. He just went in his kennel. I didn't put him in his kennel. I gave him his bone. So you're gonna hear some chewing, I apologize. It's either that or I'm not gonna get anything done. And also, I have my dryer going. In order to do laundry, you have to use the dryer in the winter time. So if you hear that as well, I apologize. I have two loads of laundry here. I have a big old pile of towels right here. And then I have a pile of darks right here as well. So, I am going to sit here on the floor and just fold my laundry and chat with you guys. Um, I haven't done that in a really long time. This is a type of video that if you want to go grab your laundry and just sit down and fold it with me, go for it. I'm just going to chat. If you um, have some chores to do, you can just put me on in the background and we will, you know, get some stuff done together. Um, because you don't really need to watch it if at all if you don't want to. Um, you can just listen. I'm just folding laundry. So let's see. <clears throat> I currently have a junior in high school, and she, at this very moment, she is taking her ACTs, and um, I, so I might have to stop the video, go pick her up, and then. Um, Come back so there may be an interruption I don't know how long it'll take her she's been going since 8 o'clock and it is about noon um, as well 8 30 she's been going I dropped her off about 8 15 so we have that going on today and then I believe my son Michael might have the day off I don't know <laughs> it's hard to say he is down in his room so uh, both of my teenagers that are currently still home uh, are in online school. So um, it's not a typical day around here as far as school goes. My youngest daughter, Josie, she is in fifth grade getting ready to go into middle school next year. And she does go to public school. So, oh, didn't. He's having fun, y'all. Hi, don't knock over my camera. Thank you. It's quieter on the rug, buddy. Gonna lay on the towels <laughs> that I just folded. <laughs> okay. His appearance has been made. Oh, I've had so many questions about um, what kind of dog he is. He is a Doberman Pinscher. He is, he'll be a year old on March 21st of 2020, if you're watching this in the future. <laughs> um, and he is still very much a puppy. He, last time we took him to the vet was a few weeks ago with an ear infection and he was 81 pounds and still growing. I'm assuming he's probably about 83, four, maybe even five pounds now. So he is a big lover boy. <laughs> uh, Dobermans are Velcro dogs. If you're not familiar with the term, they are always at your side and they like to be touching you. They are leaners. So. Which is why as soon as he hears my voice, he comes running. <laughs> um, I really don't have anything specific I, I want to talk with you guys about. I just thought it would be fun to get some stuff done and um, record a video and chat with you guys. I haven't done it in so long. I really want to get back into vlogging. I love vlogging. It is so fun for me. I used to do weekly vlogs. Sometimes I did, I didn't ever really do daily vlogs where I do a vlog every day, but I would do a day in the life every once in a while. And I think they are so much fun. So if you guys are interested in those, let me know down in the description box because I think they are so much fun. 
I like watching other people's um, day in the life videos. Um, and you know, just like get it, get stuff done videos, checking stuff off the list, you know. Um, those are some of my favorite videos to watch. I think they're so motivational. And to be honest with you, my housework has tanked. <laughs> I have been having a really hard time just keeping up with it lately. And I think it's because my kids are always home. <laughs> and they're always, I get one room done, and you know, I'll, I'll do some deep cleaning. Like just the other day I spent the entire morning deep cleaning just a couple of cabinets in the kitchen and a couple of areas. And then I went and I took my shower and by this time it was like afternoon. <laughs> and I came upstairs and of course the kids wanted lunch or they, you know, they wanted their lunch and they just made a huge mess. So I spent like another hour cleaning up my kitchen. So nothing else really got done. I've gotten better lately at going back to swishing and swiping my bathroom every day. So that has been helping. Um, they are by no means perfect. Um, I can sweep and mop in the bathroom or the floor period in the morning and by afternoon there's just dog hair everywhere. Odin sheds more than any Doberman I have ever had in my life and I've had a few. So. He's definitely a shutter. Oh, these were my kitchen curtains that I just took down and I put up a lace doily. Um, it's so cool. I put it up like in a triangular pattern, if that makes sense. Um, and it just looks really neat. It's, um, what video is it? It's in my get it done video. It's the decorating with vintage and thrifted items for the get it done challenge hosted by my friend, Nicole Northgarden. Um, I'll put a link to that video down in the description box if you're interested in seeing what they look like. I think it's really cool how the uh, light filters through the doily. Oh, it's just so neat. I love it. And I'm getting so excited for spring. <laughs> oh, I love it. Um, I bought a peony bulb. Oh, what is it called? A Shirley Temple peony bulb at Lowe's this week. It's way too early to be thinking about planting peony bulbs in Wisconsin, but I had to get it. I've always wanted the Shirley Temple one. I have that dark, deep berry colored in my front yard. It took three years for that thing to come up, but it eventually, I planted three actually. It took three years and one of them came up. Um, <laughs> so a gardener, I am not, but I try really hard. I keep folding my towels the wrong way because I'm distracted because I'm talking to you guys. That's okay though. Um, let's see. What else can I talk? Oh yeah. So I'm really excited about that. And this year for my, I have two raised garden planters that I bought off Amazon. They are the coolest thing ever. They're like four by four, four foot by four foot, and they're a foot off the ground. They're perfect for um, square foot gardening. And I got two of them last year. And um, I had so much fun gardening. We got so many zucchini and um, we had, I had six tomato plants, I think four regular tomato and two cherry tomato or grape tomato i can't remember um we had strawberry plants and we had uh beans pepper green peppers oh that was so fun growing green peppers <laughs> i don't know why i just i just really enjoyed growing the peppers um but unfortunately my tomato plants got blight and i didn't like just one of them did and i didn't know what it was so i would just I didn't, I was, I don't know. I didn't know what it was and it just spread like wildflower and I lost all of my tomatoes. I was so disappointed. So this year I think what I'm going to do is um, buy my plants. Last year I um, put them in, you know, I grew the seedlings and, um, you know, germinated them myself. But Mr. Oats, he's my cat, Otis. <laughs> I call him Oats. Um, he ate all my bean plants. 
<laughs> so uh, I think I just might buy plants this year and save myself a little heartache and headache <laughs> and poor oats. I'll, you know, keep him from getting too distracted or enticed by my plants. Um, he's such a good boy. But he has a hard time with those outdoor plants and spider plants. He likes to eat those too. So I don't have those. But let's see. What else can we talk about? I'm exciting, excited for spring. My kids have spring break starting on the 21st or something. Let me know down in the description box. Do your kids have spring break every year? Mine don't. Mine have spring break every other year. I think that is just the strangest thing. Um, how do you plan around that? You know, it's like every other year we get to have a vacation. Uh, otherwise, they just get a long weekend, which is kind of stupid. Um, doesn't leave much for family time in the spring. Um, yeah, so that's that. What else? Hmm. Thrifting. I am so looking forward to thrifting. I mean, I look forward to thrifting all the time, but I'm especially looking forward to thrifting in the spring and then in the summer months because you can get out, you can walk around, and you're not all bundled up. And I don't get, well, I don't know about you guys, but when I get super bundled up and I have my purse on, and usually I have a camera with me because I'm recording, and so I've got, you know, and then my reusable bags, I just feel so claustrophobic. And I get, it's it's just, it's hard. I It's like, oh, I want out. I've got too much stuff on me. But at the same time, I'm cold, so I don't want to take off my coat because I really don't like being cold. Do you guys have the, do you guys go through that kind of thing? I go through that kind of thing. So in the spring, I am super looking forward to not having to deal with that. Um, I, spring is my all-time favorite season uh everything's green or becoming green and you can come up michael just be kind of quiet okay <laughs> um my son michael's coming up um from his room so um let's see Oh yeah, so everything is fresh and new. The leaves are budding and the trees and the birds. Oh, this morning I took my daughter to her ACTs and the birds were chirping and it was amazing. <laughs> so that, um, somebody had already wiped their hands on, so I'm not even going to dry it or fold it. It's just gonna go back in the laundry. Oh no, Josie's new pants that I just got her have a hole in the seam. That's a bummer. Well, those can, hey Mike, wanna throw those away for me? Thank you. And then um, all the babies. Oh, so many babies. I can't wait to see. Okay, so we have these things called thir 13 stripe ground squirrels here in Wisconsin. I had never seen one in New York before, but I saw one in, in um, for the first time when I moved, live, we moved into this house. We had this house built in 2006 and moved in. And I was so excited. They are so pretty, but they like to eat your bulbs in your garden. <laughs> so I used to feed them and then the neighbors complained. So I had to stop feeding them. <laughs> but then they like dig little tunnels underground, you know. Oh, don't knock over my laundry, buddy. So, um... I don't know. What else can I tell you about? Oh, thrifting. Robin and Nicole and I are going to be getting together soon and I'm so excited about that. I'm not sure where we're going or what we're doing, but we're getting together. We miss each other, so look forward to that. Um, yeah, so it has been fun driving to Minnesota. Um, I'm getting used to it. Surrey has taken taken me a different way every time, so I haven't learned it yet. Um, so yeah, I I like to go down to Prescott, Wisconsin, and cross over to Minnesota. There, I mean the view is beautiful, um, but 
every time I come back, she takes me a different way. So last time I went through all of Minnesota, I think, all of Eastern Minnesota. <laughs> and I really, it was during rush hour and oh my gosh, I did not enjoy that at all. So I was glad to be home that night. <laughs> Boy, these pants get wrinkly so fast. And then we are going to be switching around some bedrooms, I think. I think our plan is to move the master bedroom back upstairs, use Madeline, there's two bedrooms at the end of the hallway that's down here. Move Madeline down, Madeline and Josie, both bedrooms, downstairs into the master bedroom. And if you don't know, the master bedroom is ginormous. It is 22 by 13, I think. Um, so definitely big enough for two, two twin size day beds <laughs> um, and two dressers and two desks and whatever, and two entertainment centers because they each have a TV. Maddie has a big one, Josie has a tiny one. So they can play their electronics because I'm not about to have that in my living room. <coughs> um, so I think we're gonna move that up there and we're gonna turn, take the old master bedroom back as our master bedroom and use the other one as an office and an Etsy shop for me and for Gabe so he can move his computer. You know, he'll probably get an armoire and I'll have like a sprawl of like shelving and whatever for my Etsy and then YouTube and my, you know, crafting and Cricut and all that good stuff. Um, cause as of right now, I'm running up and down the stairs 50 times just to print like a couple of pages and just, ugh. I mean, I'm getting my workout in, I'm getting my steps in, but it is just not a user friendly situation. Dryer's done. <laughs> so, um, I think that's what we're going to do. And right now the basement is just in chaos because we've been working on our bathroom it is almost done. I would say it's about 90% done. We just got the water hooked back up to the sink. The sink is completely done. We're finishing up trim right now. We have to get a new vent for the flooring because um, the one we got was too big. It was like, we needed a two by 10 and we got a two by 12. You know, should have measured before we went. We just assumed and our assumptions were wrong. So, um, yeah, the bathroom's almost done. So I am so excited because um, to have like an actual office space. <laughs> and what that's going to do is it's going to get everything out of the basement so that now we, then we can get the sheetrock on the walls because the basement is, just needs to be rocked and the flooring, ro you know, rocked, taped the flooring, painting. And trim that's it all the electricals there it's all framed up and everything it's just waiting for us to rock it but there's so much stuff down there with my Etsy shop and all the tools because we that's where we like do our home improvement projects right down in the basement so we built our vanity in the basement for the bathroom and all that jazz so it'll be fun and exciting to have that cleaned up and you know finally finish the space that would be really cool. We're also getting ready to redo the flooring and the entryway. We're gonna pull up the subfloor, get a new door. How's that phone, buddy? <laughs> get a new front door um, and then, oh, I just did something in the hair. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> um, and then redo this, the, take the carpet off the stairs as well. I think we are going to put our flooring as the riser and then I will get new treads and just stain them and try to find a stain that will work with our flooring. Our flooring is um, weathered pecan. It might be Traffic Master. I can't remember. We got it at Home Depot. But it was really inexpensive um, and it's holding up to Odin's claws so that's nice. <laughs> Um, it does show footprints really like five seconds after I mop, there's footprints everywhere, but you know, whatever. It's a part of life, I guess. 
I think in my next home, I, if we will probably have hardwood floors, or I would probably do laminate, um, or no, vinyl. What we have now is laminate, I believe. So vinyl hardwood flooring, or not vinyl hardwood, vinyl plank flooring. Um, if, if hardwood's not in the budget. You can tell I'm dreaming. Someday, you guys, we, we, we got dreams. We want, we want our little cabin in the woods or a little cottage in the woods. So we've already got a house plan picked out. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's it, you guys. I am almost done folding my laundry here. So that's exciting. Thanks for folding laundry with me. It's nice to be able to record a video and get work done at the same time. I think that's amazing. And it also helps me to open up my heart to you guys of what's been on my mind, what's been going on in my life. And yeah, it's just, it's just been nice. And I feel like you guys are my friends. So if we can hang out and fold laundry together, have a cup of coffee, have a chat, all the better, right? So. I am going to do this video a little differently than I normally do. I used to just do these videos as a, laund as a laundry in chat. And um, then I would have you ask me questions down in the description box for the next laundry in chat. So I am going to do that. So if you leave me a question down in the description box, I will put it, I will answer your questions in the next laundry in chat, um, which means I won't be answering questions. Odin, he just knocked over my towels. I won't be answering questions. Oh my goodness, there goes everything I just did. <laughs> Hi, buddy. I won't, for the third time or fourth time or 15th time, um, I won't be answering questions in the description box, but um, um, I'm also going to be doing something else a little different. And I'm going to tag a few friends. Um, I have a few friends on, on YouTube that thrift as well as vlog as well, as well, as well, as well. And that is Robin Johnson, of course, I tag you. Nicole Northgarden, I tag you. I tag uh, Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home. And I also tag Miranda Christine and Nesting Haven. So if you guys would like to do the tag, I would be so excited um, and it's it's a lot of fun you get some work done and you get to chat to your subscribers so thank you all so much for watching have a great day and I will check you later bye